The answer to the baseball quiz, in addition to Ernie Banks, the only other players ever to be elected to the Hall of Fame on the first ballot were Ted Williams, Sandy Koufax, Mickey Mantle, Stan Musial, Warren Spahn, Bob Feller, and Jackie Robinson. And the most amazing thing about it is that Joe DiMaggio was not elected on the first ballot. And the lights have just gone off here at Shea Stadium. power failure here at Shea Stadium. The lights are all off with the exception of the emergency lights. So the lights are off here at Shea Stadium. All the lights are off. We see matches being lit around, cigarette lighters. The emergency lights are on in the areas around the hallways, the corridors, and what have you, but a power failure here at Shea Stadium. And this is the first one in the history of Shea Stadium. Well, now, cigarette lighters lighting up all around the ballpark. Players on the field now coming off. The dugouts are completely in darkness. Well, Ralph, we've seen about everything here at Shea Stadium. In our 14 years of working here, this is the first time we ever had a power failure. First time, and they went off so quickly, it was almost unbelievable. The umpires are huddling out near the first base area. We can barely make them out, just in their silhouette fashion. Now an announcement being made. And the announcement is that obviously there is a brown out here in the area around Shea Stadium. We can see the cars driving by in the outfield beyond the outfield area and the car is going over the Whitestone Bridge and there as this stadium is in total darkness except for the emergency lights that are in the stadium hallways and what have you. There are tiers of lights of course and light over each of the exits so as you go up deck by deck there are tiers of lights some of the fans down there uh, lighted matches and cigarette lighters and that sort of thing. There's a flashlight here and there that's thrown up. The ball players, of course, headed for the dugout. As you can tell, the uh, organ is still uh, workable and the PA system is still working and we hope we're still working. And also, the thing that's noticeable is that there is no panic in the stands. Everyone sitting there cheering and what have you. No one moving in the aisleways. So it doesn't appear that there is anyone that believes that there is any danger at all connected with this darkness that has taken place here at Shea Stadium. Scoreboard, totally without light, and as Lindsay pointed out, the emergency lights in the exit areas are on. They're also out in the corridor areas, but the fans in their seats just waiting now for another announcement. We are in touch with Gunner Edison in order to rectify the situation. Well, the announcement there in touch with Con Edison in order to rectify the situation. I have about 15 remarks I could make about that, all of which would get me in deep trouble. No question about that. There, there'll be all kinds of uh, jokes written about that, I'm sure, tomorrow, and talked about tomorrow. As we wait here at Shea Stadium in what is on the field area, total darkness. A few uh, flashlights now showing up and spotting around. The umpires who were standing out by the first base area are now walking toward the exit gate behind home plate. The umpires were bunching up, I think, Ralph. They're going out two by two. It appears that Joe Torrey is talking to two of them out there. I think that's the number nine that I see, Lindsay. It's just hard to make out. I think you're right. Joe Torrey talking to a pair of them. The other pair started for the exit behind home plate and then went back. Someone is trying to shine a flashlight on Torrey and so they get another one of the umpires. I have been in several ballparks where they've had power failures and the ball game has been held up. Also, I've been where lightning has hit the uh, lighting structure and the uh, transformers knocked out and the ball game had to be called. So this is not really unique, only unique to the point that it has never happened here at Shea Stadium. As I recall, you might have been uh, a participant in the great blackout when we had the grid failure here a few years ago as well. I certainly was, Lindsay. I happened to be with Monty Irvin sitting in Fifth Shores when it took place, and I was in the town 
throughout that entire blackout. In fact, I stayed out because I didn't want to climb up all those stairs where I was safe. I had a number of friends who were regulars at such shows, and you could have had a blackout almost any night, and they would have never known it. <laughs> very true, very true. Amazingly, uh... Sid Shore closed his restaurant right after that. There were many, many that remained open, and the people in the town had nowhere else to go, as the only communication during that blackout, as I recall, was through car radios and, of course, telephones and that, but that was an experience all in itself. Let us say again, for those of you who may have joined us within these last few moments, that we're in the midst of a power failure here at Shea Stadium in New York as the lights suddenly went out and then the emergency lights came on over each exit, and uh, that's what we have, but we have another announcement coming now. <laughs>